Alright, Truth Seekers, the purpose of this recording is simply to document the alternative theory concerning those in the Trump orbit who also seem to support uh, number 17, you know, uh, the 70 letter alphabet Q. Um, basically, there's a theory that is being purported by Patrick Berge that Michael Flynn, Sidney Powell, and a few others were actually sheltering the president from vital information uh, because they are actually a part of a insider coup. This would also include Mike Flynn. Um, I'm just going to simply go through a document I found on Freedom Stream TV. Um, at some point, I'm going to go into this subject more in depth. But for this point, I'm just going to document something I've read so that way you guys can have access to this information as well. I'll put a link in the description. I went to D.C. shortly after the November 3rd election to provide my sworn affidavit on election interference. For over two months, I watched in dismay as hundreds of MIC contractors picked the bones of Trump presidency like vultures with fresh carry-on. Multi-million dollar contracts were being used to investigate election tampering by some people Trump was trying to eliminate, the military-industrial complex. What could possibly have gone wrong with that plan? I attended numerous meetings with Patrick Byrne, co-founder of Overstock.com, met with Joe Flynn, investigators working with Mike Flynn, Sidney Powell, Lynn Wood, and many others at the tip of the election sphere. It didn't take long for me to see that my affidavit, although verified by these same people, was being covered up. When I asked Patrick Byrne directly to his face to tell me straight, is my affidavit going to President Trump with the rest of the whistleblower's affidavits? Patrick was at least honest with me, and he said no. He told me it was briefed to Flynn and his team, and everyone freaked out. I'm paraphrasing. And his impression to me was that it was going to be used for something later. Smelling BS, not from Patrick, I liked him, he's actually honest, but Flynn, Powell, Lynn, not so much. I moved out the room I was being provided by Patrick Byrne and reached out to my supporters to help me cover my own expenses so I wouldn't be subjected to the BS. You will see that stated as such in my email to Sidney Powell and Lynn Wood following the Ali Akbar staged PSYOP event. See video and affidavit I posted at the same time below Powell email. I gave Sidney Powell the opportunity for herself and Lynn Wood to explain why my affidavit exposing the Obama Biden shadow net, which was heavily vetted and verified by multiple teams and investigators, was covered up and they chose not to answer. After seeing reports of Jen Flynn's brother being in a room when the request for help to the National Guard was rejected, I'm now even more concerned that my affidavit was covered up because they had another plan of their own on January 6th involving the attack on the Capitol. To my knowledge, and I have not a lot of evidence to support this from meeting with Mayor Giuliani, whom it was clearly also kept from, my affidavit was kept from President Trump by Flynn, Powell, and Wood. I'm seeing a lot of things that could have proven President Biden and so the election was kept from President Trump, which I believe was not only criminal, it was potentially part of a seditious conspiracy and likely illegal. It is because of this I will be taking this email, my affidavit, and other evidence to the FBI investigating the January 6 attacks. <clears throat> this evidence will exonerate President Trump in the upcoming impeachment trial, and I fully intend to have it included into the record. It is my hope that Mayor Giuliani will help me to expose this in a testimony as well. If not, then I will cross that bridge when I get to it. Thus far, he's been straight with me. This must be heard if we are ever going to get a handle on such treasonous acts in the future. I also argue that may have been more involved in the election investigation and just counting votes. Stealing the voter data acquired by court orders is just one of many possible things we need to investigate. They were up to something and none of it looks good to me. We need to find out what. Whatever their intentions, these people were lying to me. You and all Americans for a very long time and jeopardizing our national security in the process. I believe had my affidavits been given to President Trump as required by law, many of what happened on January 6th, if not all, would have been avoided. That includes the current impeachment of President Trump that's based on the pre-planned attack on our nation's capital by many of the same people who are attacking me, covering up my affidavit and the social media influence operation that led to the attack, 
many of whom are literally former PSYOP colleagues of mine that are still active in the military. We are a nation of laws, not anarchists, retired generals, corrupt journalists, paid social media asset and military PSYOP teams using fake news and social networks to generate the anger and hate that leads to the events of January 6th by largely well-meaning patriotic Americans that were used as pawns to cause the chaos we witnessed. I consider many of the Proud Boys, Oath Keepers, and others as my friends, and using them for your stupid little PSYOP games has pissed me off even more than I have been before. If you knew the Obama Biden shadow net and covered it up, you won't get a pass from me. The blood of all those that died on January 6th and the impeachment of President Trump, both impeachments, is in your hands. I'm currently updating my affidavit to include many other suspected threat actors that come into my radar since I updated it back in November. I'll be sending the updated copy certified mail to uh, Senate Judiciary House Intel Committee and FBI when complete. They can add it to the existing ones they had covered up for the last several years, which I'll be testifying to for misprison of treason. Hashtag where's Sydney Powell. And here is a message from Patrick Berkey, the author of that statement I just read uh, to Sydney Powell. And it's marked uh, very important, sent on Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. Um, essentially, he accuses Sidney Powell of throwing uh, himself under the bus to protect this Ali Akbar character. So here is an associated video with this website. So you see um, Lynn Wood, Sidney Powell, and the Ali person together. So are they all in a coup against President Trump? The only thing that can stop this is the full and complete exposure of the fake news industrial complex. Patrick Berge, a decorated veteran of both the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, has come forward as a whistleblower. In Shadowgate, he exposed Dynology and Clearforce for their abuse of power. Dynology, which developed a classified tactical psychological operations management tool through government contracts, commercialized it and made it publicly available as the Shadownet, a military-grade psyops tool that used Jungian psychology as a weapon, hence the use of one's own shadow against them. Ironically, the whistleblowers, the producers of the Shadowgate documentary and myself came under such an attack. There is a viral, you know, I don't know if you want to call it a YouTube video that was produced uh, called Shadowgate. I don't know what's going on, but like they're not in touch with reality. Had I known how demonic this thing was going to be, I would have watched it immediately and dissected it immediately. I feel really bad. I feel like I could have stopped this thing from going viral. It's my task I want to do and I go shopping for money from billionaires. And a lot of times these billionaires give me money to go do what I want to do to find out information. They call me the hammer sometimes and you're about to find out why. Did Ali plays behind the curtain, okay? Let me go in do what I do, clean it up really quickly, and um, bada bing bada boom. I'm not gonna embarrass anybody who's distanced themselves from them, but trust me, they don't got anyone on their side. I will call up some friends to dust off some accounts from the great meme war, and we'll see. We'll see who the oh. Okay, and that is that video there. So, you just wonder, why did President Trump, now let's say former President Trump, take every means to seemingly distance himself from Sidney Powell and Lynn Wood during the um, election interference research debacle? As more facts emerge, I will uh, bake some more thorough presentations defining whether or not there is still a military-backed plan to save the country from the color revolution, as well as more information to determine the relative goodness or largeness of famous individuals such as Alex Jones and General Mike Flynn.
I have received additional intel that General Mike Flynn as well as Sidney Powell may have had a hand in running the Q operation. In the coming weeks and months, we'll have more information concerning the true purpose of the operation, whether for good or ill of our country. Goodbye.